Let's find out which has the better pulls. GX Ultra Shiny in Korean? Or a Hidden Fates Ultra Ball? What's going on, Legion of Zen? I'm Zentorion XYZ. Thank you very much for joining me here today. I do greatly appreciate it. And we are going to get right into this today because we've got a lot of stuff to open. But that's right, we have an Ultra Ball. Let's put that centered here in the in the shot. An Ultra Ball collection box. It's got a Metagross GX and it's got a, a ball and it's got 10 packs. And then we have a box of Korean GX Ultra Shiny Ultimate. And we're gonna find out what has better pulls. And we're looking to see which one really has better shiny pulls. So let's go ahead and pop this open. I'm probably going to speed through this so that it's not so long. I'm really bad at opening these things and it just fell and just not, you know, I just, yeah, that was bad. That was really bad. All right, let's pop this guy out of here. I am so happy that Pokemon started using these types of clamshell clamps to hold the promo cards because they used to destroy the heck out of the cards. There's code for you guys. And there is the Metagross GX. We'll go ahead and sleeve them up real quick. All right, we've got uh, plastic. We got packs. And we got more plastic. That went well. And then there's the ball. There we go. And it just snaps closed, which is pretty cool. All right, we've got 10 packs here. We're gonna put them over in this corner. And then we've got the GX Ultra Shiny Korean. And that also has 10 packs. This is a booster box. This is what a Korean booster box looks like. This actually is one of the cooler looking boxes, uh, the artworks that they've ever done, in my opinion. And it comes with a little pamphlet with all of the cards that are in the set. And we'll put those over here. We've already got Metagross uh, up here hanging out. And uh, let's go ahead and get started with a GX Ultra Shiny. That didn't that didn't go very well. That didn't go very well at all. That didn't go well at all. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna get started with a GX Ultra Shiny Ultimate Super Duper Thingamabob pack. Box. All right, Froakie, Ma uh, Magnemite, uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. more more stuff. Obama Snow, Kicking Bug, Altaria, and wait a minute, Kicking Bug is one of these guys. All right, those are Hollows, by the way, two Hollows. And yes, there is a ho uh, Reverse Hollow, uh, uncommon and common. Every single card is a Reverse Hollow. And then we have an Ultra Necrozma. And yes, there are GXs in every single pack. So you always get a GX. You always get two, I think you always get two hollows. Could be wrong on that. But uh, either way, you get a lot of awesome stuff. It's it's a lot of uh, bang for your buck, in my opinion. Uh, the Korean boxes are cheap. This is about a $30 box, and you get 10 packs. So it's not really a lot of packs, but you do get a lot of stuff in the packs. There's a code for... Uh, we've got Energy, Farfetch, uh, Brock's Pewter City Gym, uh, Giovanni's Exile, Geodude, Clefairy, Eevee, Ekans, Pass, Feramosa. We get a hit on the very first pack of Hidden Fates. Feramosa is the shiny, and then a Golem is the rare. So let's go ahead and sleeve up this shiny Feramosa. Whoop, there it is. Boom, sleeved, 
And I guess we'll put these guys over here. Yeah, there we go. I think that, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. All right. Oh, looking good so far with that Metagross GX and that Feromosa. Let's see if uh, GX Ultra Shiny can step it up here with a Rock Rough Pan. We've got a uh, Rotom, uh, Refrigerator Rotom. A Buzzwall is a Hollow. We've got an Altaria Hollow. And we have a promo Tapu Fini. And then we got a Prism Star Shaman and uh, Shaman. And I needed that Shaman big time for the collection. So that is a win in my book. I am trying to collect the entire GX Ultra Shiny in Korean. It has proven difficult, just like Hidden Fates is difficult to collect. Uh, there's just so many cards in these sets. It's it's unbelievable. But I'm, I'm working on it. I'm trying. I'm working on it. And as my binder gets a little more full, I want to start showing you guys my collection. Uh, I do have Japanese uh, GX Ultra Shiny as well. And uh, there is a code. And if I can't get the entire Korean set, then I'll probably just mix them up. Uh, you know, I don't really want to do that, but it is it is going to be hard to get my hands on the entire Korean set, I have a feeling. There is a Lieutenant Surge's strategy, a Star Yu, Voltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ekans. We have a Leaf Energy, and that is a, a holographic Leaf Energy, and then another Golem. So we'll go ahead and sleeve up the Leaf Energy here. And uh, let's see what we can pull from the GX Ultra Shiny Ultimate. Pachurisu! To start things off is a Pachurisu there. We've got a Froki, we've got a Kibone, a Swablu, Mimikyu, a Trainer, Marshadow is a Hollow, a Zekrom Hollow, and we got a Galissapod GX. Which is awesome, because I think I needed that one. And we got a shiny goodbye. Oh, Gar... No, I'm sorry. Garchomp? Garchomp? Is that a Garchomp or a Gabite? Oh, the shiny it tricked me. It's got me tricked. Oh, no. Uh, um, oh, no. I should know these things. I'm a Pokemon master. No, I'm not. I'm I'm a, I'm trying to be a Pokemon master. 199, 199. Okay, that is. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. So see, there there's my confusion right there. There's my confusion. So uh, I'll put that up here so you guys can see it. There's there's the reason for my confusion right there. They look very similar. I mean, this guy's got bigger wings. So that is a Gabite. Not. A Garchomp. My bad. My fault. Please. Please don't. Uh, please don't yell at me. Please don't yell at me. I, I do apologize. So sorry. All right. Cool. So. Oh, okay. Well, we're getting. We're getting some stuff. We're getting some stuff. This opening is guaranteed to have awesome pulls. Whether it comes from the Hidden Fates or it comes from the uh, Korean stuff. So, you know, action-packed. Action-packed with a uh, fairy energy, Sabrina's Suggestion, Charmeleon, Chansey, Caterpie, Paras, Charmander, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Swablu! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Another shiny! What? Oh, and then an Erica's Hospitality. Shiny Swab Blue. Oh, man. Here we go. All right. So we got ourselves a Shiny Swab Blue there. Uh, I do apologize. Uh, I'm going to try and edit it out so it doesn't seem like something happened there. But my alarm went off on my phone and uh, messed up my recording there. Uh, there is an Ivysaur, a Torchic. 
Cosmom. We've got a Corellia, a uh, Lusamine Space, Turtonator. Zygarde is a Hollow, Xerneas Hollow, and a Tapu Fini promo card, GX. Come on. There it is. Woo! Trying to get that sleeved. And uh, my, my sleeves did not want to cooperate. All right, here we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. Boom. There's a code for y'all. Four to the fronts. And we have energy. We've got a Misty's Determination. She's over here twerking. Uh, we've got a Scyther. We've got a Sabrina's Suggestion. She's uh, suggesting probably that you lose the match. I mean, you know. Uh, Evie, we've got a Caterpie. We've got a Paras. Ekans. Sorry. Orangaroo. <laughs> Shiny Orangaroo. Oh. Phenomenal. And then a Raichu GX. Another card that I needed to pull. So we are doing well here with these Shinies all over the place. Shinies everywhere. And there's that Raichu GX. Interestingly enough, the first GX of the English packs. So <clears throat> let's see if uh, GX Ultra Shiny can show off a little bit here. There's a Brexen. There is a Frogadier. There's a Diglett. A Lolan Diglett, to be exact. Dunsparce. Guzma. Beast Ring. Matterwack. Whack, whack, whack. And there's a Marshadow Hollow. Type Null Hollow. Zuckatree GX. There, there we go. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. We got birds. Let's see if we can get some some magic from the birds. Come on. Come on. Come on, pack. There it is. Whew. Sometimes these packs are just so hard to open. Sometimes they're so easy to open. Usually there's no middle ground. There's an Electric Energy, Cerulean City Gym, a Chansey, a Giovanni's Exile, uh, Eevee, Caterpie, Clefairy, Ekans, Paras, Froakie! Froakie, shiny. Shiny Froki. And then immune. Shiny Froki. My goodness, this box has been phenomenal so far. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this lineup. Look at this lineup. So far, just unbelievable. I have to say, I am impressed with this ball. Uh, the uh, the great ball did not provide quite as many hits. It was still good, but it didn't. It wasn't this. It was not that. That is for sure. There's a Torchic. There's a Froggy Ear. There's a uh, Rock Ruff. A Lolan Diglett. Uh, Pseudo Wudo Energies. A Weavile. Technol is a Hollow. Oh, 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 oh. Raikou, Hollow, oh, and Buzzwall GX, swole up in here. Oh my goodness. Okay, if you are not enjoying this video, then you don't like Pokemon. This is, this is an, this is a pull, this is a pull fest, really, it's a pull fest. 
This is a pull fest. This has got to be one of the best videos, one of the best openings I have ever done. I mean, look at that. That is amazing. And right now, right now, that that ball is sort of winning. I have to say though, the Buzzwall GX has quite a bit more uh, oomph than some of these other uh, shinies just because it's, it's a GX, but <clears throat> still, I, I think right now, I think right now the, the Ultra Ball, the Ultra Ball is winning this, but you guys let me know in the comment section because I really want to know what you think, uh, what, you know, which is going to be ultimately the winner, whether it be the Ultra Ball or the Korean, uh, there's a Caterpie and a Blaine's Last Stand, so we just, we got all excited, we got all happy and crazy, and, uh, Okay, there we go. We're, we're coming back, back down to earth here. Back down to earth. But uh, you guys let me know in the comments uh, which one, you know, which which you think is better. Um, which had better pulls. And, you know, if you think the Korean box has a lot of bang for its buck, I really do think so. You, you're guaranteed a certain amount of pulls. And uh, there's a Buzzwall GX... And there's a shiny Malamar. Malamar. I don't, I don't even know if that's an accurate representation of Malamar. But, uh, that is a shiny Malamar in Korean. How awesome is that? Unbelievable. And then there's a Buzzwool GX to go with the other Buzzwool GX. How cool. Um, I'm going to check this out because... All right. So I'm trying to figure out what makes Buzzwool GX or Buzzwool Shiny shiny. And I think it's the green accents in the muscles. So very interesting. All right. Whew, we got a Charizard pack. English Charizard. Let's see what we can get out of this. This has been unbelievable. By the way, I have the biggest pile of trash next to me. And it's going to be so fun to clean that up later. It's going to be a blast. I'm going to love it. Just throwing stuff in the garbage. You know, cool, cool stuff. All right. We've got water energy. We have a uh, Brock's Pewter City Gym. A Giovanni's Exile. We've got Koga's Trap. We've got a Magikarp flopping around. We've got a Staryu, Voltorb, Pikachu playing around in bubbles, Jigglypuff, Metapod Pod 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 with a Piggy Pecky coming. I'm guessing it's going to attack it. And then there's a Clefable. Rare. All right. Uh. Ooh, okay. You know, GX Ultra Shiny, I think, is making a little bit of a comeback here. I don't know how many more pulls it's got left in it. Because, like I said, it's a, it's a booster box and they usually have a set number of pulls. But I think we might be okay. I think we may still... Just excuse my clumsiness. Excuse my clumsiness. Is there a Zora? A Gibble? A Rock Ruff? trainer i thought she was i thought she was trying to be uh you know like twerking like misty uh but she's not she's uh she's just there and there's a pseudo wudo uh dusk main necrozma hollow zekaram hollow and there's a lichen rock gx very nice Ooh, we got birds. We got birds in here. Come on. There it is. Okay, we got it. Whoop. Code.
energy. We've got a Metapod. Magmar. Misty Cerulean City Gym. Voltorb. Geodude. Eevee. Eevee. My pile's falling over, sorry. A Clefairy. A Caterpie. Golem. And Mew. Whoa. Okay, we started off real hot. Started off on fire. Let's see if we can end with some awesomeness. Uh, we still have we still have a couple packs left, so don't go anywhere. Uh, we've got a Whooper, Energy. We've got a Cosmog. Uh, we've got a Volcano. Well, a Volcano, if I'm not mistaken. Rotom. Yeah, some stuff on there. Quagsire. We've got a Dark Rye. Oh, that's a hollow. Manfi! Holographic and a Tapu Lele promo card. GX. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of these uh, GX Ultra Shiny Korean. Uh, I have more on the way. And, uh, and I'm just curious if you guys want me to open them on camera or if you just don't care about them uh but let me know i, I want to know because i'm going to be opening them regardless but i'd rather them open them here for you guys so if you guys are enjoying these uh let me know for sure and now i feel like i need to buy more of those uh ultra balls yeah because they're pretty awesome i'm not gonna lie the ultra ball is pretty awesome metapod We've got an Eevee, we've got a Pikachu, we've got a Clefairy into a Jigglypuff, into a Caterpie, going into a type? No! Yes! Score, my friends! We have a shiny type null, and then we've got a Vaporeon holographic. Thank you, Vaporeon, for uh, participating in the fun, because we've got a type null. That is so awesome right there. My goodness, look at that lineup. I mean, that's pretty good. I'm not I'm not going to lie. That's pretty good. All right. <clears throat> I mean, right now unless unless we got some magnificent amazing card out of this pack right here, I think that Ultra Ball done one this. You know? So, uh, there's an Eevee, there's a Magnemite, a Trainer, we've got a, uh, another Trainer, uh, we've got a Rotom, there's a, there's Garchomp, Beyonce, that's actually a really cool looking card, I like that, that art is nice, and then we have a Golisopod GX, so not a, uh, Not a shiny, but you know what? I'll take it. It's still a GX. I will take it. And then we have a Mew pack. I believe... I feel like something is in here. I could be very wrong. But I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Let's hope. Let's hope for something awesome. There is a code for y'all. Let's see what we can get. Let's see if there is last pack magic here with a Jinx, a Magmar, a Farfetched, Charmander, Clefairy, Sign, Carp, 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 Carp. Star you breath. Oh. That was me. That was you can make a meme out of that. Dead. Articuno GX shiny. Oh my loading. That is a. Gorgeous card. Now, 
I got to tell you, Articuno usually, uh, for me, it's more, you know, in the order of uh, Zapdos being my favorite. And then it's it's kind of a toss up between Articuno and Moltres. It just depends on the artwork. And right now, this Articuno is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. Okay. And then there's a Brock's Training Hollow right behind that. That is just unreal, my friends. Now look at these pulls. Just leave that right there. Look at this. Articuno GX. We've got Metagross. That just came in the box. Uh, we've got a Feromosa Swablu. Oranguru, Froki, <laughs> Type No. How amazing is that box? That was just unbelievable. And then you know what? Let's let's. I mean, Korean shiny GX ultimate. Um, not bad for thirty dollars right there. There's an Ultra Prism, and there's a stack of GXs. I gotta tell you, not bad value right there. But right now, I just wanna say, check this video out, because it's another Hidden Fates, whatever this is, this deal. Yeah, that's what that is. Check it out.